Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today we've got random quotes in the jar. I'm pretty sure from memory I've got the Buddha in here, quoted in here. I've got Carl Jung, Sigmund Freud. It's, it's a pretty good mixture of six quotes, so I'll draw two per group. I'm also trying a new camera setting here. I thought I'd shoot this in 50 frames per second or something like that. I don't know. I, I thought I'd try it out and see if it improves the quality at all. But yeah, as usual, choose from between group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. Whoa, there's another one. <laughs> now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Today we're in the great outdoors. I'm so happy to be outside. Okay, we've got the three of swords in reverse. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh my goodness, yes, we've got the Three of Swords in reverse again. Gosh, I couldn't believe it. Two different decks, guys, and I shuffle really, really, really well. Can you believe it? going to move these across both in reverse that's just absolutely incredible so this is a very specific reading that you're going to see here so we've got the ten of wands in reverse we have cancer And we've got, from the Kippa Oracle, we've got Lovers. Isn't that beautiful? It's a sculpture there. And two doves. And we have Moon in the first house. Okay, guys, this is such a specific message. If this is not your group, then please choose another group. Because this is very much about love life it's very much about love incredibly so and what i'm seeing here is a really 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 obvious message and that is that you you're overcoming some form of heartbreak basically you're moving forward there's a massive release there's a massive overcoming there's going to be freedom and it could be a situation the reason this could be quite specific is perhaps Someone here has been able to get out of a situation that they really wanted to get out of or there's some incredible relief that comes from release. That's what I'm seeing here. So three of swords, when this is in its upright position, this is very much a card of heartbreak. This is the card that you're heartbroken, you're sad, you didn't want it to end, you wanted to be in that relationship. When it's in the reverse, either you're overcoming the pain of an old heartbreak or you're, you're free of something, you're, you're being released and it, it feels good. When a negative card is in reverse, this feels good. So there's someone who's experiencing some positive release here. You are no longer a victim. Look at that. This is a victim card where, you know, the Eight of Swords, you're a victim, but perhaps you don't realize, you know, these bindings that are on her, they're always very loose. They're easy to get out of, actually. So this card is teaching us that when we're in victim mode, we're actually in an illusion. We think we're a victim, but we're not. Now, when it's in the reverse, this is very much saying, 
you you're not a victim you know you're not a victim you you've released you've you've moved on from something it's quite incredible and we've got this repeated the three of swords coming twice in reverse is incredible okay two different decks it's absolutely amazing so and this is my saturn deck because it's black and gold and i tend to see this as saturn and you've materialized a release right so it's it's being made material even if you're you haven't broken up from someone recently perhaps you've broken a cycle perhaps you've broken a cycle that you're not going to repeat again or you're not going to attract that similar partner again there's something like that that's going on here ten of wands in reverse so this is a, a long hard road that she's going down and you know you kind of wonder how much of this road is there left i don't know if i've got the energy to keep going when it's in reverse this is showing burnout this is showing that you don't have the energy to keep doing this whatever this was this could also be you leaving a job or something like that oh can you hear that we've got a, is that a bus we hardly ever have buses go down this road that's weird i wonder what that means you're moving on that is a big moving on sign and we were just talking about the road yeah you, you, there's something you've moved on from it could be a job as well uh, if it's not your love life but i am seeing that this is love because have a look at this i mean we've got the lovers right here <laughs> so that's a pretty obvious message right there we're definitely talking about love and we've got cancer which is perhaps one of the most emotional signs okay one of the most sensitive a tremendous sensitivity about cancerians so this is definitely to do with the realm of your heart and we've got moon in the first house so this is you're emotional about something and moon in the first house this could be a physical thing this could be you might receive a physical healing as well it could be something like that but whatever it is that's cleared might give you some kind of physical healing as well there's a tremendous release here it's very good if and if maybe you've just gone through something and it's still raw or it's not easy know that this is going to heal really 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 well okay whatever it is that you're going through it's going to heal beautifully let's see what we've got in the jar here from for the random quotes i'm really excited to see what you get this is quite a specific message okay so we've got oh this is so beautiful let's have a look here my rings are falling off okay there we go i'm gonna try and focus it as well there we go in the end only three things matter how much you loved how gently you lived and how gracefully you let go that's beautiful buddha and this is you you've done it i think you've done exactly this i think you have let go gracefully because these cards the way they're positioned are showing me that there's something very positive and it's a release and a relief yeah this is amazing this quote this is perfect for you and i think you're going to carry this forward i think this is how you're going to be as you as you keep doing life that's so beautiful all right let's take a look and see if we can see another one see if we can get another one what's it going to be very excited what is this going to be well the first quote is great let's see what you've got next wow this is amazing yeah thinking is difficult that's why most people judge carl jung that's beautiful and I get the sense that in this situation, you are definitely the thinking person, okay? Um, but you're being released, and that's great. But I feel like the people that you're leaving behind, or that you're moving on from, I think they were quite judgmental. And I think it's time that you move forward now, and give yourself some time to heal, give yourself some time to recover, if you're single and hoping for love and you're still watching this reading uh, honestly this is a terrific card this bottom row is great for that 
And perhaps, as I said earlier, perhaps this could be the kind of thing that you've broken a cycle and you're not going to keep attracting that same person that, you know, you've, you've been attracting the same kind of person. Perhaps that isn't going to happen anymore. I think there's something new on the horizon for you. And especially, yes, if you've, if you've left someone, you know, in time, uh, a, new, a new person will, will appear once, once the healing is done. But guys, this has been a beautiful reading. I hope this resonated with you. If so, please do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you do through. Now, as with any of my readings please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't okay you've got the two of cups upright how beautiful wow that's really nice love that card <laughs> you have the six of swords in reverse okay You have the Ten of Swords Sorry, I just got distracted I thought there was a spider But there isn't Something's rustling around in there though We've got all these dry leaves Okay Wow, and it, I just start hearing it as I, as I bring out the Ten of Swords Hmm Okay Interesting Gee, that's a quite a depiction there. <laughs> God. Uh, okay, let's have a look. What else have we got here? We, oh, yes, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. Right. We've got Taurus. It's Venus there. We have the main female, this is part of the Kipper deck, Oracle deck, and we have Moon in the seventh house. Okay. It's really interesting, this time we've got a lot of love life type things happening. Group one was very much just about love. This is, yeah, I would say this is two. We've got the two of cups. Upright. I think I, I get a sense that things are going well in your love life, but it feels like there's some perhaps some old baggage that has resurfaced and I guess if the old baggage kind of um, becomes quite a focus, it can cause some kind of difficulty here, which we're seeing with the Ten of Swords. This is not great. Uh, nobody likes this, <laughs> okay, so this is not ideal. Um, now, we've got this Eight of Wands here in reverse. So this, I think, is quite a guidance card because this is saying when this is in its upright position, this is a fast-moving energy card. This is whoosh, like really fast. So this is definitely your guidance card. It's telling you to slow down. So there's something that you need to slow down in relation to a partnership and look this could be a work partnership as well it doesn't just have to be a romantic thing in group one group one did feel like that was all romance whereas this yeah although i mean i did interpret that for work as well possibly but but this one it could be a work partnership or a work situation there's some old baggage that could be causing and look at that we've got a kookaburra laughing mm. okay laughter and he stopped abruptly as well this is yeah this is definitely a partnership look at that we've got moon in the seventh here in group one we had moon in the first fascinating this is so you're definitely in some kind of partnership situation old baggage has resurfaced and you know it has the potential to there could be some problem or something 
an argument or so, something will, will happen or has happened. If you're a man watching this, then this could be to do with your partner who's who's your your lady, you know. Um, if you're a lady watching this, this could be your issue. Or however people identify, of course, um, in the relationship, what, wh whoever's the more fema feminine um, person. Taurus, yeah. Just kind of trying to feel what this is, because I was starting to think, mm, okay. Oh, wow, wow. There's a bit of an argument in the sky right there. Okay. Yeah, there's some interesting energy here, guys. Really, really interesting energy. This, I was just thinking about, could this be a remedy for you to spend time being creative as an outlet? But that that might not be that might not be the thing let's see what the guidance is going to be through the quotes i'm so curious to see because this is really interesting okay there go the kookaburras now they're going for it now they're going full speed and they're going to finish their laughter i think wow And they're in harmony. All things are possible. Who you are is limited by who you think you are. Egyptian Book of the Dead. Wow, and those kookaburras, they are non-stop. See if I can see them. All things are possible. Who you are is limited by who you think you are. Egyptian Book of the Dead. Perhaps you feel there's something about you feeling like... Well, there's some limitation energy here for sure in this quote. I'm just looking to see where is it here. I mean, well, gosh... <laughs> talk about limits I mean this is my Saturn deck for a start and this is perhaps one of the most limited cards this is I mean talk about limitations no room for maneuver I mean gosh like you're you're pinned you might be feeling quite restricted or limited in this partnership You might feel like there's no room for maneuver and it might be bringing up some old some old things are resurfacing but see here it says who you are is limited by who you think you are and last week we worked with byron katie and byron katie's big message is all about suffering comes from the fact that we believe our thoughts or we believe the story that we tell ourselves about something so can we change the story? If we can't change the story, can we just not believe in it or attach ourselves to it? Wow, Egyptian Book of the Dead as well. Hmm, I'm not even sure what that is. I must look that up after this reading. Let's see what else we've got in here. This is fascinating, guys. I'd love to know what situations uh, you are going through. If, if this is resonating for you, of course. If it's not, feel free. always feel free to leave the group and choose another one or choose another reading or another reader or whatever it is, right? Uh, I, I've done that when I've watched these sometimes, but very often, I mean, when I used to watch these like religiously every day, um, I don't watch them so much now, but for a whole year I was addicted to them and... Um, yeah, I would, if I go into, most of the time I'd watch the whole thing through and I'd watch my one and that was it. But like, sometimes if it wasn't me, uh, I, I would leave, you know, like you have to, because um, that's important. Oh, this is stunning. This is absolutely perfect for this group. I can do nothing for you but work on myself. 
you can do nothing for me but work on yourself exactly that's by Ram Das and that this is exactly the sort of guidance that's going to be helpful right now Byron Katie's teachings would be very helpful in this situation and Ram Das this in particular and my guidance would be absolutely just work on yourself in this partnership situation don't worry about the other person you be concentrated on you you know whether you're male female it doesn't matter you're you're the main person here and you work on you and leave them to be themselves you see because that's giving them freedom and that's a good thing love is all about freedom actually uh, and that's the thing I think in, in a lot of love relationships a lot of people want security and that's actually not not a thing that we should want in our love relationships we should actually want or in our partnerships true love goes with freedom not with security that was something that yeah I, I remember learning uh, you know as as I as I was yeah growing and studying all these things I studied relationships a lot during my whole Jupiter Mahadasha I read like a small library of self-help books basically and I'll tell you who's great for partnership type stuff a guy called Chuck Spezzano he's an absolutely wonderful couples uh, psychotherapist and he's written beautiful books the one that I really enjoyed it was called wholeheartedness I think that's the title of the book but he's really 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 good so guys I hope this has been a good reading let me know in the comments below if this was a good reading for you I always love to hear from you and I'll try and get back to you as well wherever possible but thank you so much for stopping by for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. As with any of my readings please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Okay what an intro. <laughs> We've got the devil in reverse that's good we like the devil in reverse I like the devil in reverse that's how I want the devil card <laughs> I'm remembering you group three you guys have got a nice thing going on here six of pentacles upright that's a beautiful card it's Italian renaissance artwork beautiful oh look at that we've got the king of swords upright fantastic very good We've got the Eight of Pentacles, upright, beautiful. I really like that depiction. It reminds me of working in advertising actually, because we used to have chairs like this and cool stuff. <laughs> All right, oh look at that, we've got a new moon, fantastic. Love a new moon. Actually, I think we've, do we have a new moon? Sort of about now. I think we do. Ooh, expectation. Wow. Nice. She's kind of looking out into the horizon. And we've got Venus in the first house. Okay. I love this spread. Guys, I think this is a really nice spread, actually. Hang on, I'll try and do this so you can see what's here. Whoops. What am I seeing here? Well, I'm seeing that I think you're going to be busy. I think you've got a lot of opportunities coming your way. I think you're going to be very busy. And I think this uh, devil in reverse is definitely showing that I think there's something you've overcome I think when when this is upright this can be limitation one of the ways I like to read it is addiction actually but there's some 
pattern or limitation or, that you've overcome or you've released. There's there's a lot of release actually uh, in these groups today. It's a huge amount of release energy. It's quite good. So there's something that you've released. Maybe you've released, say for example, a pattern of self-sabotage. Or maybe you've overcome some habit of procrastinating or something like that. Now, if you haven't, you will very soon. Okay, this is, you, this is all coming in for you. What's coming in for you now is all of this. Basically, every single card is fantastic here. So, new beginnings. Look at that, new beginnings. Planting seeds, setting intentions, blank page. New beginnings, new opportunities. New things are going to start manifesting. What are these new things? Now, I think, the other thing is, I think you've been expecting good stuff come in for a while. And you might have been wondering, okay, well, where is it? And what is it? Where is it? What is it? Well, it's here. And... It's work. Basically, I think you're going to be busy at work. And I think there's money coming in for you. The kind of money that you'll be able to, because we've got a six here, uh, a pentacle. So you'll be able to pay off your debts. You'll be able to pay other people that you've been wanting to pay. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's, you know, your partner or friends or certain people. But you'll be able to share your wealth. You're going to have that kind of wealth come in that you can share. So this is great. You will be working for it, okay? So it, 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 this is one of those things where I don't think it's going to drop out of the sky particularly, but you will be working for it, but you will be enjoying the work. It'll feel satisfying and rewarding. And this work of yours is going to require you to be extremely sharp and intelligent. You're going to have to use your faculties of logic yeah and and it's kind of uh your intelligence it, i'm not necessary i mean this there's some creativity here sure you are going to need your creativity but it's it's your intelligence is going to be a strong suit your logic your concentration powers you know your ability to just buckle down get it done make it happen and nothing getting in your way, no procrastinating, no bad habits, none of that. Like you're just going to put your head down, get a huge amount done. I think this is fantastic. The other thing is I think you're going to have the energy. You're going to have the physical energy. So where is that coming from? That's coming from here. Venus in the first house. This is beautiful. You're going to feel healthy and well and good and you'll be able to get on and manifest and do all of this stuff so that's really really good so if you've been expecting something new something good you want to be busy you want to get on with it it's here okay now let's take a look and see whoops let's take a look and see what we've got left we've got two left these are just for you so let's see what you've got got a kookaburra in the background <laughs> Very happy birds. Okay. Oh, wow. I love this. This is Sigmund Freud. One day in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. Absolutely. You know, when, when I, and I feel this way, when I look back at some of my early years, especially my first years in London, and yeah boy did i struggle you know i remember it was so hard to get a job then i got a job then i lost the job then how was i going to pay my bills and i was sick all the time and oh my gosh and it was freezing cold the heating wasn't working it was just awful and i used to think what am i doing here but i made it you know i made it happen i built a life there and i do i look back on those years of struggle as some of the most beautiful and you know in some ways I'm kind of you know I'm a bit challenged now like a little bit creating what I'm creating doing what I'm doing and um and I know I'm going to look back at this time and and feel like wow you know I made it through kind of thing you know I mean things aren't so bad but I mean lockdown is starting to get a little bit weird here <laughs> like they're being pretty extreme uh, with us here in Australia that's how it is you know I mean I'm doing whatever I can do to um, you know I'm sh certainly sharing 
information I can with friends and, and various people. It's kind of, yeah, it is a bit challenging actually sometimes. But, you know, I, 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 this, I love this quote because, and I remind myself of that if ever I'm in struggle. I remind myself of the fact that one day this is all going to be so charming. <laughs> you know, this is going to be so, like in the future when, you know, when you, when you have a lot more freedom and money and this and that. And you can look back on the tough days and be like, wow, we made it, you know. We're all going to make it because we all come from love and we all go back to love. And that's perfect love, right? We come from absolute perfect love, 100%. We come to the earth plane of duality where there is no such thing as 100%. 100% is just a concept here. It's not, you know, it doesn't ever happen here. We come for limitation. We come for problems. We come for the struggle. As hard as that is to believe, we really do. Freud knew it. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. This is the last one. Oh, how wonderful. I love this quote. This is so cool. People are the best show in the world and you don't even pay for the ticket. Charles Bukowski. Yes, I love this quote and I love him. He's a poet, I believe, and he's quite the, you know, rebel, rough kind of guy. Um... Yeah, and I, this is just fantastic. People are the best show in the world. And look, wherever you're going into this new domain, let's say you've got a new job or something, or you're going to be working and be busy, and you're going to be dealing with people, right? And the next time you see someone have a meltdown or go crazy, uh, think to yourself, wow, this is, be this is better than TV, you know? This is better. Oh, look, and we've got a great big ant joining us. Hello. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Ant, work, worker, worker, ant, working. You're, you're going to be working. That is such a sign. You got, I don't know if you saw that. No, you probably didn't. I just realized it's off camera. But there's an ant. There's an ant in the vicinity. You're going to be busy. And I think you're going to be dealing with some interesting people as well. Wow. Okay, well, group number three. I hope this was a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how this went. And hopefully I can get back to you. Uh, but yeah, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time.